everybody, it's Kim, and I'm here to check in. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing okay, staying healthy, and uh, staying sane. So, during this COVID time, I think I should we should all keep a journal, because this is going to be, I pray to God, a once-in-a-lifetime event that we will look back on, similar kind of to, for me, another odd where I was out of, you know, didn't, well, other than my personal story, um, I was lived through, I was in college my freshman year for um, Mount St. Helens, and that school, college was, or is in eastern Washington, and the way the wind blew the ash from the mountain, it came in, we watched it from our rooftop deck coming in, lightning, and oh, it was just surreal, and it was dark there for over a week with the ash. It looked like we were on the moon. So that was a weird time as well. Kind of similar to this, only this has no end in sight. I think school was canceled for the remainder of the year after that. So anyway, I don't know. So there was a rumor. Um, I think my last um, shopping trip for quite a while at Tuesday morning, this was not a rumor. Um, she, the manager said that they are not going to get a new shipment until at least May. So, you know, because I was like, it doesn't look like there's much here. I go, May. And I shouldn't be shopping anyway. Um, so during this time, you know, stay at home thing. So that'll be good for me. I just, that was my last trip for a while. So I'm going to go on withdrawal, Tuesday morning withdrawal. But I have been creating, anyway, the rumor, she got some email from some gal, and I think it was a Facebook rumor that there was going to be a two-week moratorium here in Washington. The National Guard's been called out, and we're going to all be stuck in our houses. You better have two weeks' worth of food. Well, that's not on the news, so people need to stop doing, posting stuff like that. I mean, that's terrible. So she was freaking out. She's like, well, this is it. We're done. We won't be back for, you know, and I'm like, huh, because I was just in the car, and I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> and no, it's not true. So... Be careful what you read and believe, uh, especially Facebook, I guess, these days. Okay, so I have been creating. I'm working on um, the uh, birthday banner. I'm hoping we can still have the birthday party. Um, for Octonauts colors are this blue and orange for Tori's birthday. And um, I use my Cricut. And this is just the T from the word birthday. Um, and it did the drawing on, it's just amazing. You know, these machines, it's just like, oh, all this layering. So there's one letter, 12 to go. But I thought that was cute. I had fun, I'm working on that. Been doing a lot of my master's program and I work like tomorrow, I have a two hour meeting online called Zoom meeting where you can see conference call. So see how that goes. They're going to tell us how to do what we're doing via the for special ads, so we'll see. I'm kind of technically technology impaired, so I'm hoping I can do all this. Okay, so I was at Dollar Tree the other day, as they do, and the cashier, I think she's the manager, showed me a picture of what she'd made for Easter, and so I did mine, uh, take on that with mine. So this is a wreath from Dollar Tree. And this is a bat. I'll show you all the stuff. And these are new ribbons at Dollar Tree. And this comes from, so I just took apart. She was showing me. I go, can I see that again? I got to see that. So you just take the seams out, lay this in the bottom off, lay this flat. I took the ears off. And then here's the face. And then I took the ears and I just kind of glue, hot glued them this way so they would stand up. And... Then I wrap some ribbon around, and then these are the little foam eggs they have there that I just put in the bow I made from the handle. So this is my version of what she did. I don't know, it's kind of a wacky, I don't know if I like the eggs or not, but anyway, just, I'm going to make a couple more. This one's for me, I think, and then I'll make one for Tori and one for Emma. And they can have that at their house. So I just had fun. Oh, and then I'd had a felt nose and I cut a heart out with my scissors out of some of the backing because, you know, here's the backing. I just hot glued it. It barely fits. So that's kind of the reason for the stuff up here to cover the, you know, it, it fit, but it's just kind of 
light there, you know, it's just barely long, wide enough this way. So yeah, so I cut the nose, the felt nose had like glue and stuff, so I just made my own with some of the backing. I thought that turned out really cute. I had fun. Then, this is a super easy. This is Createology um, from Michaels. I bought these a while back before the craziness started. And I'd gotten all these paper clips. Oops. So I need, I, you can powder. I should powder the back so it's not sticky. So these were back, sticky backed. And then I had all these paper clips already that were already colored. I got at Goodwill, which is now closed. Isn't this just crazy? Anyway, so I just stuck, you know, just quick and easy. The bunny on there. So there's that one. Like I said, I'll probably put some talcum powder on the back and that will make it so that's not sticky there. So that was kind of fun. I got this. Oops, it has a <laughs> So is this for a can? What is the deal with this? What is this for? I just wanted it for the block and the color. Got this at my local thrift store. So that's what I've been up to crafting wise. Like I said, I've been really trying to do a lot of my school stuff too. So in between, I have to do paperwork online for my work. So yeah, anyway. So I bought more of these. They have little gift bags too, but I thought, eh, would I use them? So I got these because I'm going to make more of those buddy wreaths. <laughs> yeah, and then, and, but wait, there's more. I did a, I don't know if I have it here. So yeah, see these little bunnies have the white and you just peel that off, stick it on something, bada bing, bada boom. I bought these at Dollar Tree because I saw Martha Stewart and she had a bowl of these beautiful decoupaged eggs. And I thought, oh, well, there you go. Plastic, eh, I'm not so sure I like it. So I did buy some more. Oh, here's my big thing of clothespins. So I bought some more paper mache ones at the, uh, Hobby Lobby today. They seem to be kind of, I don't know, they were cleaning and... Now at Safeway, the guy would clean where you did your pay with your debit card, clean the everything between customers. I really appreciated that. That was awesome. Okay, more Dollar Tree though. Are these not the cutest? I bought these just to kind of inspire me. Look at these. You've know, seen people making these, but it's a little clip. Pom pom bows. Oh my god. So I got two of each color. These are in the Easter gift section and so I bought more of these little eggs I should just make one project and call it done and then she goes we have hand sanitizer I'm like yes please so I took two I didn't I think they limit you anyway but they have the cutest ribbons and some of these are ribbons that I see at Hobby Lobby so that are usually $1.99 unless you get them so I used some, this one and a different one on my bunny wreath. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Um, I was looking for a certain paper pad. I had a 50% off coupon at Michael's, but they didn't have it. But anyway, I got this, it's just a bundle, scrap glitter card stuff. So it's just good for, you know, you don't, it was $7.99 and I used my 50 on it, so. Look at these. I mean, I've got a boatload of all these colors in this size. And then in the smaller size for punching out, for adding to a page, all these. Well, there you go. Very cool. I thought that was a good deal. Especially at 50% off, so what I paid $4 for this. They had $19.99 for the big paper. I was like, no, I don't need the big. I'll pay. Ooh, stinks though. Um, I also read on the news that Amazon is only going to be delivering for right now. Ooh, boy, that's that glue smell. Ugh. Um, essentials. They're not going to be delivering all this fun stuff like this. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody posted on um, 
Melody Lane Joy thing. This bag from, it's by Opux. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Quality products. And what it is is a lunch, insulated lunch bag. But I'm putting my little baby Joy in there, my Cricket Joy. She fits in there perfect. And on the top is a zipper bag so I can put my, you know, different things in there. It's got a mats in there. It's got pockets. So yeah, check it out. And it was like $12 or so. Cheaper than the Cricut bag, obviously. So I'll try to leave the link below. I gotta be honest, I'm not very good. Remember I said I'm <laughs> technology good. Okay, anyway, for a little, you know. Oh, so today, and this is gonna be a long video or I'll make it into two. Yesterday, my son says to me, Mom, you know, you got that dehyde or dehumidif dehumidifier going at the at the um, trailer. I go, yeah, and he goes, is it is a pan getting full? Or I go, oh, geez, I don't know. He goes, does somebody turn that off? I go, that somebody would be me, honey. I own that now. So I'm like, I got to go. So I went over there. The hose goes into, maybe because you're riding a bike. Anyway motorcycle um goes into the sink we're good but so then I thought oh I'll take Emma hadn't seen it or my daughter-in-law so we go out today and they hand out this thing saying you know I get that they got to be careful but I don't they're closing the park completely you can come in a couple hours a month to check on it I mean, like I'm as far away from every I own the actual lot in there and then I pay dues so why can't I I emailed them and said that seems I get that we can't use the parks and all the other recreational stuff, but we should still be able to use our, I was just, I'm really looking forward to it. It's like, eh. anyway, so then we're there and uh, Emma goes and in, my daughter-in-law are sitting, I have chairs for the outside on the deck and she closes the door and we're not thinking anything of it. And I go to open it. She's locked it. I didn't know you could do this. It's a brand new thing to me. From the inside I'm like oh my god it took us a while to figure that out and we're going Emma unlock the door honey and she's saying no I play you know <laughs> and we're trying to not freak out because all the way we're checking the windows they're all sealed very well so finally my daughter-in-law goes to the back window luckily the blinds were up and she's looking because we don't know how this thing works and there was a sliding thing and then it had a red bolt a lock thing on it so she was able to coach Emma into how to open and Emma's not aware that we're like oh my god <laughs> you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to break open a window call the sheriff oh my gosh anyway so we were able to finally it took about 10 minutes to get her out so I'm gonna have to do something about that well we, we decided to go home after that I we were both kind of like oh geez these are 50% off is that not that countess so it was 350 well hopefully pay take that and I got the other day with another 50% off this white because I'm making that banner and I don't want to use my thick cardstock. Don't need to on that. Anyway, I can, sorry, I can keep hearing them driving by. I was going to, and I might on one of them, put this at the <laughs> on the bunny wreath. I already bought these for Emma, so maybe I'll give these to Tori. Anyway, I never get to see her again. This is just, this whole thing just, oh, scary, I tell you. Scary stuff. So this is the other ribbon that is at, and it's a silky ribbon. The gal next door, nicest lady, kind of a character, rough and gruff, but she is here to take care of her grandkids, her daughter's sick. So anyway, so God bless her for doing that. But I'm like, my deck faces this way her deck faces me her their backyard so her these kids there's like three of them hi what are you doing what are you? and she's like leave that poor lady alone and then the, she's got dogs barking i'm just like oh my god so i was looking forward to my trailer where i could sit on peacefully on my deck anyway found these red bombs at dollar tree and i may have them already but i've got this thing about birds which ooh, 
I got an arm that come for the bird feeders. I've had a heck of a time keeping the bird feeders away from the darn squirrels. So I found this thing that you can attach because I don't own the place. I don't want to be pounding nails and stuff. So that attaches to my railing. I keep pointing this way. And holds, so it goes out like this and then holds the bird feeder. And I've had some customers. And so it's right. I got this for Emma. She's into um, Paw Patrol right now. And I got a fresh batch of, it's got to be the Crayola crayons. They're the best. And I'm going to make a little mini album out of that for the, for Tori's birthday party. Okay. You can tell I haven't talked to, I don't talk to a lot of people during the day. <laughs> I'm going to miss shopping, but I really got to stop. I, I'm the kind of person they're talking about that, you know, we need to quit shopping and exposing ourselves and others to, it's just hard. Okay, so from HSN, I ordered this set, and it cuts out like this. I thought that was really pretty, so I got this one. I don't know if these are, and I got this birthday one. Um, I don't know if these are auto ship think, situation or not. I can't remember. Every day is a new day, day, and I can hide my own Easter eggs at the thrift store the other, at Goodwill. Got this for a dollar nine. I think it was on half. Yeah, so I got this for a dollar and it's not, it's a sketchbook, but it's 93 pound heavyweight. So it's not quite watercolor paper, but it's pretty good in its thickness and its um, texture. So yeah, got a book, some goofy snoops in the city. <laughs> I just, during this time, I don't want anything. I'm reading a one that's kind of dark and it's like you know life's depressing enough i need to read something that's just goofy and fun and in the mail i had already ordered got this and i'm on i know this is auto ship the pop-up card from crafters companion on hsn and so i got my first installment the birthday one with the numbers so my hope is to use that and at goodwill i got this i mean give me a break yeah baby Got a call from a surgery center. I didn't recognize the um, phone number the other day, so I didn't answer it. And they leave a voicemail saying, yeah, we're trying to reach my ex-husband. Um, can you tell him blah blah And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I call, I go, I haven't spoken to that man in two years. We are divorced. And she's like, oh. <laughs> she goes, well, that's weird because he left you as his emergency contact. I go, well, I'm not. Hmm. So I'm wondering what's going on there. Just saying. So like I said, I did go to Tuesday morning. And Miss Emma expects to have chocolates. These were 50% off. So she'll, because I'm running low. I've been buying them lately. So dark mint chocolate. So I got these for $1.25. Okay. Something like that. I don't know. Dollar two. I don't know what it was. I don't know. Anyway, I love the Woodwick candles. I am hooked. I don't know if this is that brand, but it's got the Woodwick. Mmm. Smells really good. Notes of orange and ginger. So that was $2.99. I know that I have this, but I don't know for sure if I know where it is. So I just went. I was like, okay, this is the last time I shop here. So I don't know why that made me want to buy stuff. But there wasn't that much that I didn't already know about or have or not want. Or Anyway, so this is the Easter Bow Bunny. And since I'm like, I don't know, can you decoupage with this? That's what I'm wanting is paper to decoupage with, but we'll see. I think it's too thick. We'll see. So that's my idea there. So I got, I wanted to get some napkins. This, these were on clearance. So dollar ninety nine, and then whatever is off. So there's somewhere in here. I know I put an egg that I made. Oh yeah, here it is. So I decoupaged a plastic egg, and I guess it worked okay. But you got the seam here, so I'll put ribbon or something around there. So that's my plan: is to decoupage some eggs. 
<laughs> Seriously. If you have pets and you're a crafter, they're probably getting nervous thinking, what's she going to DIY on me? I mean, seriously, we're all gonna go crazy here, right? Okay, I'm already crazy, but I'm just gonna keep going. If you don't wanna hang in there, that's fine. I I'm, I just hate making more than one video. It's pain on the butt. Okay, 99 cents each. So they did find clearance, don't you know? And these are um, folder inserts binder divider. So this was kind of in the office supply section. I found quite a bit of clearance. Those were 99 cents. I thought if nothing else, I could just use them as, decor, you know, cut them up or whatever. I thought these were adorable. They were 49 cents. They had three of them. So I bought three because I think these would be good for my trailer if I ever get to use the dang thing. Yep, 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 yep. My niece is going to be having a baby and they're going to be doing a shower. So for 99 cents, I thought this is adorable. It's a centerpiece. So that was in the baby section. Oh, when I got this at Dollar or Tuesday morning. So there's that. Nor Hobby Lobby. Dollar 49. Isn't this cute? make a great gift for something you can just put a picture there or I keep it for me we shall see okay. you know how there's a shortage of paper goods oh and then I was chuckling to myself I wanted to share with you guys when I was decoupage so these are dollar forty nine um you know how you decoupage you peel apart the napkins all the layers so you're down to just the printed layer well, boy, I'm thinking I am not, I'm one that has to have Kleenex all the time. I have constant allergies. And, you know, I feel bad using Kleenex now. It's like a paper is like, I'll say to Emma, don't waste that napkin. It's a very valuable. But anyway, now I'm safe. <laughs> I know you're going crazy. Um, when you pull apart the layers, I'm keeping the white layer, the under layer. Because that's a good at least to blow my nose, if not the other things. Let me stick out my tongue. You know what I mean. I don't need a demo for you. But, you know, you pull it apart. Oh, for God's sakes. This is why my videos are so ding ding long. Hmm. Okay, I guess not. Okay, here we go. So now, I have the valuable paper. <laughs> okay. That took me five minutes to show you something you didn't need me to show you. Anyway, <laughs> so I was just laughing. I thought, oh my God, that's the stuff we need to write down because we'll never remember that we valued paper so much and the things we took for granted. So I just bought because the boys' birthdays are coming up. Happy birthday plate plates, and those were $1.24. Matching napkins can always use these, $1.24. So, yep, 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 yep. And I thought for Tories, the blue and orange, so I got these $1.49, and you get, I think you get six paper fans. Yeah, baby. And, but wait, there's more. Another, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm losing it, people. Dollar, or no, this was 74 cents. It's a little tin, and you know, it's my color, and it has this in the back. So I could put that in a window or whatever. Picture of one of my beautiful granddaughters in it. And then they had all these envelopes for 74 cents. I just, God knows, I don't have enough envelopes. I'm kidding. You know that, right? But for 74 cents, you know. Oh, here's the, what I'm gonna paper my say. These will be easier. Eggs, these were 40% off of $8.99. That's kind of a waste, oh well. And I got these that match that moon, these little seals, envelope seals, but I'm just using them as stickers. Ba -da -ba. They had Paper clips for 49 cents, or clothespins. And more envelopes. 
More envelopes. More envelopes. What are these? I don't think these are envelopes. No, these are mini sacks. <laughs> oh, God. For 74 cents. <laughs> okay. I just thought. I don't know. I think I just kind of went. I thought I'm not going to be shopping for a while. These are invitations for a dollar twenty-four. But wouldn't this make good Father's Day for my boys? And let's see. I'm not going to use them as invitations. But I just thought for Father's Day cards, aren't those adorable? They're he herkin big, but you know my boys always laugh. And now, guess what? <laughs> Envelopes, too. <laughs> Can't have enough envelopes. Oh, my God, you guys. Are we going to get through this? <laughs> Seriously. It's just, it's not funny. I mean, it, the suffering and, oh, my gosh, it's not funny at all. But sometimes you just got to. Uh, anyway, okay. So then they had clearance ribbon. Got this glam ribbon for $1.24. Sequin stuff. And see, this looks reminds me a little bit of these were a doll two two ninety nine half off, so dollar forty nine. Aren't those pretty though for Gertie Goose? And I believe I'm coming to the end of it, people. And you're gonna go, what did she buy this for? My youngest son has, you know, has a is a gun guy, and I showed him when we he, I was there visiting this lamp at Hobby Lobby. So, Riley, if you're watching this, don't tell him. I got, I thought, you know, <laughs> I could put this in my window. People think I really have a, anyway. <laughs> so I got this because who knows? Their birthdays are in May. What if they're closed or something and I can't get birthday gifts? So I have them now. Why is there a zip tie on the bed? Hmm. That's really weird. Old tiny zip tie. Anyway, it does not come with, so it was 40 bucks. I got it for 20. Uh, Layup shade, but I can find some. So there you go. Oh, wait. There's more. I got my paper, glass paper pumpkin. I, um, I'm not going to be doing that. I told you I quit selling. I cut, shut down my selling site. Um, so I got paper pumpkin. And I, I'm glad I got it, though. It's the little rain boots. Get the stamps. Oh, the clouds. So you get these cling stamps. I always like that you get these little mini. And I can still, I can do all of this. I don't have to be a demonstrator to do it. Um, and this is what you can make with it. So that is it. Okay. My gosh. Kim is losing it. Hope you all are doing okay and this video finds you surviving, making it, and healthy. That's my biggest hope for everyone is that we stay healthy during this time. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.